Hello, welcome to AP Sources Simplified. This is going to be a quick review today on the first two political parties in our nation's history, the Hamiltonian Federalists and the Jeffersonian Republicans. These parties formed during the presidency of George Washington, who were actively worried about the splintering of the country into factions. However, as you will see, these two groups had some major differences in ideology and direction the country should take. Okay, let's jump into it. To start, let's examine their views on the role of government in general. The Hamiltonian Federalists believed in the necessity of a strong central government, more akin to the British, while the Jeffersonian Republicans, always concerned about tyranny, emphasized states' rights and a limited central government. Diving down a little deeper into their thoughts on government, the Hamiltonians felt the Constitution should be interpreted loosely and felt the Elastic Clause allowed the government to do things outside of what is written in the Constitution. On the other hand, the Jeffersonian Republicans believed in the strict interpretation of the Constitution, so government should only be able to do what is allowed for in the words of the Constitution. For example, they opposed the creation of a national bank because the Constitution makes no mention of a national bank. Next is their difference on the direction the economy should take. Hamiltonians felt that the U.S. should go the route of the British and emphasize commerce and manufacturing, while the Jeffersonians preferred an agricultural-based economy. Jefferson called it a yeoman farmer republic. In foreign policy, they could not be more different as well, and tensions will be really high between the two camps on this topic. The Hamiltons favored the British as a source of stability and because of a common heritage, despite the ill will over the recent Revolutionary War, while the Jeffersonians favored the French, signaling both Fran France's support of the American Revolution and they felt the French Revolution was an extension of the American Revolution. The Republicans were outraged when the U.S. got into an undeclared quasi-war with France during the Adams administration. Lastly, the Hamiltonians emphasized the government playing a strong role in creating order and stability, while the Jeffersonians were always wary of a strong government, and they stressed protection of civil liberties and trust in the people. Okay, I told you that'd be a quick one. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more AP test review and primary source analysis.